wildlife trafficking is finally being acknowledged as a major international crime, and in the last four months, there have been some exceptional developments and shocking new discoveries. In today's special episode of Two Minute Roundup, we take a look at the biggest stories that have made the headlines so far this year. The British royal family got behind the anti-wildlife trafficking cause early this year with this video by Prince Charles and Prince William. We have come together as father and son to lend our voices to the growing global effort to combat the illegal wildlife trade. Prince William has also since come out in favor of destroying all the royal ivory. This went down well with conservationists, but not so much with art lovers. Into Africa, where Kenya has instituted new, much stiffer penalties for wildlife trafficking. The first person to be sentenced under the new laws was a 40-year-old Chinese ivory smuggler caught carrying over seven pounds of raw ivory in his suitcase. And still on the topic of ivory, this year alone has seen Hong Kong, China, Belgium, and France destroy ivory stockpiles. Off to Indonesia, where even the clerics are getting behind stopping the wildlife trade. In what is believed to be the first edict of its kind in the world, the country's Muslim clerics have issued a fatwa against wildlife trafficking. The fatwa calls on the country's 200 million Muslims to take an active role in protecting and conserving endangered species. Interpol is urging global action to end the trade in tiger parts. The global police body is set to hold a four-day meeting in Lyon next month to coordinate efforts. Tiger numbers have plummeted from around 100,000 in the wild in the early 1900s to just over 3,000 today. And finally, they've been called the most trafficked animal you've never heard of. Pangolins are on the verge of extinction thanks to out of control trade in their body parts. Time to put some global muscle behind saving these beautiful creatures, we think. If you've got a strong opinion about these stories, let us know by commenting on our website or getting a hold of us via Facebook or Twitter.